Welcome to Blender quick tutorial series. In this video I am going to show you how to make the sine wave, square wave and triangle wave. Static and also moving waves. You can see sine wave, square and rectangle waves are moving. Uh, without moving the camera or without using the driver, uh, I will use the simple way only the curve and cylinder to make different types of functions so let's start let me close this and go for the new file here i open the new file when you open the new you can see they have the cube here just delete this cube uh, okay for more clear understanding let me show you the my keystrokes okay on the right side here you can see my keystroke which uh, button i press you will see here so okay let's start now so for more easy i just go to here x and y plane and uh, press shift a here you can see on the right side which button i press okay shift a and i go to curve and select the bezier curve okay you can see here here is the bezier curve <coughs> let's enter into edit mode need, i need to press tab Press tab, enter to edit mode uh, and make the sine wave. Just uh, grab this and move it like up uh, mm, here. Zoom in. Mm -hmm. Okay, and just grab this and move it down here. Select this g and move it here and move this more up g i grab this and move it here this point and then grab here the other point is here now i press e extrude create the new point here and just if i want to make the sine wave just extrude and put here press e and press mouse left button e and mouse left button e and mouse left button follow the same procedure and you can make the sine wave let me make it more long here you can see i create the sine wave there are different ways to create that you also can use the math function so i just use the simple procedure okay this sine wave is ready so now let's make the square wave or triangle wave so press shift a curve for the square wave it's better to choose this path path curve not the bezier curve okay here is the path curve press g and i just move it here little down okay uh, so I, but now here i don't know where is the starting point of this curve and where is the ending point so I need to show you, uh, show this point. Go to edit mode, but still I can't see where is the direction. I just click here, power layer, and I need to click on this option, uh, handles and normals. Click on this option, normals, and just move it. Here you can see the direction. So here is the starting point, here is the ending point. So from the starting point, we can uh, make uh, select each part and extrude this uh, grab this first grab and leave it here here press G and leave this point here press G and leave here press now press E to create the new point extrude here press E left click press E mouse left click press E and mouse left click e and mouse left click e and follow this function continuously e and mouse left click for leaving okay here you can see that the scare wave i complete but if you exit you can see it's not scary it looks like sign so i go to edit mode what i need to do here click on the object data properties click on the object data properties go down geometry and in the geometry 
more down i need to go active okay active spline option in active spline option here is the option of order you need to do what reduce the order four three two when you make the two it exactly follow the this scare function if you make the increase the order it will become more smooth so for scare wave you don't need to make smooth you need to choose the order two okay now scare wave is completed now let we make the triangle wave shift a choose the curve you can choose bezier or path both is okay so i choose the path curve G and I move here on the starting point oh first I need to enter the edit mode press tab oh, it also show the direction so because I already uh, done the setting here so it will show the direction now so I just and uh, grab and move it here okay let me make grab move it little away move it little away and I just grab and move it here to make the triangular wave any shape you can make as you want and grab and move here now no end point you want to create the new point you need to press E extrude and mouse left button to leave here in the rectangle case you also can see the curve is exactly not following the rectangular path so we also need to reduce the order for rectangle here is the order you reduce to 5 4 3 2 when you make the two it exactly follow the uh, triangle shape so here we make the shapes so it's so now what we need to do just press shift a and go to mesh and choose cylinder here is the cylinder just scale it down and let me rotate this to show you more clear if i rotate the y direction you can see according to your plan how the rotation you need to do scale it down and just scale in the x direction and then let me scale more down and scale in the scale x direction so i just grab it here so <clears throat> scale x then make it down so first what i need to do i need to go to edit mode select the this cylinder press tab it enter to edit mode first i need to press ctrl r when you press ctrl r and then you need to move the mouse center ball upwards you see it divides this cylinder into different parts how much you divide it will be more smoother your wave so if you want to make the smooth wave you need to divide it more parts so when i divide i just click and press escape to leave so and press tab enter to object mode so here are three waves so i need to make three cylinders so i just press shift d another copy here and press shift d another copy here so i just let me move on the starting point of the curve these cylinders press g and move on the starting point of the curve so now what we need to do we need to make each cylinder follow this curve path select the cylinder press here on modifier properties and add modifier and click on the curve when you click on the curve here is the option of curve object here is the option like the pointer or pen you click on this and select the curve the object you already selected and now the curve you will select the object will follow this curve path click on the curve okay here you can see the shape is not as you expecting so you just need to uh, capture this uh, cylinder and just move toward the because it's not aligned with the curve so you need to make it align with the curve I just press G uh, sorry and just press G and move toward X axis it goes here so it's not again that same because it's up from this curve so I press G and move Y make it down exactly you need to make on the curve then you will get the 
right shape. So for the second, do it again. Select the cylinder. Click on the modifier properties, add modifier and click on the curve. And you need to select the curve again. Which curve exactly? This curve. Okay. So half part is outside the curve. You just press uh, G and move toward the x-axis it will go now this shape is okay because this cylinder is exactly on the curve now select the third one cylinder modifier properties curve and you need to choose the curve okay now let's just press G and move toward x-axis okay now here is let me make uh, scale it down the first sine wave because it's uh, I just want to make the single wave 360 degree S and X and it's almost around you can see and now G and X it's almost 360 degree and uh, S and X and I need to okay it's almost uh, one single wave complete wave sine wave so far uh, scale and triangle you also can make same yeah, just you need to scale it down in X direction press G uh, plus S and X scale it down in X direction this is one 360 degree scale wave S and X rectangular wave okay then G and X move it back G and X move it little back so here finally you make one sine wave and one scale wave and one rectangular wave so let me make different colors for each wave so I just go select this choose material add new material and uh, surface color I can make it for green okay I can choose this option okay this is green and for the second scale wave I choose the different material and I make a color like a blue and for triangle select the material and choose the color is like red and give it little brightness okay here the different colors so now how to move these waves What you need to do first, select the sine wave and here you need to go to the object option and you need to create the keyframe at starting point. I just press here and the keyframe for this is created. And now for scale wave also press on X, keyframe created for triangle wave, keyframe is created at start point and also create the keyframe for each curve each curve keyframe is let me create one by one for all okay keyframe is created here now so if you want to move the waves what you need to do okay now here is the keyframe is created you need to choose the end point let I choose the end point at uh, 200 right at 200 select this sine curve press G move towards the X direction here and you also need to create the keyframe for this and also for the other wave G X and move here and create the keyframe select press G press X move here because my axis is X so I'm using X you are if your axis is Y and Z you can choose the different axis because I'm using X Y plane okay now at the starting point you can see your wave was at this location at the ending point you also need if you want to keep at the same location you also need to choose the same location for uh, for the end point end point is 200 okay let me choose go to 200 your starting point was where 
uh, after the center I can say 1 2 3 4 5 and at 6 line so I go to 200 now select the wave 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 up to here almost so select the line press G move toward X here and select the keyframe also for scale wave select press G move toward X and create the keyframe here click on this X location press the triangle wave select the and press G press X and move it here and also create the keyframe so keyframes are created for all so so now just move it in the center and run the simulation endpoint I choose the 200 so I select the 200 so now you run the simulation you can see and now you click here you can see sine wave scale wave and triangle wave moving waves here we didn't use any camera movement or uh, any driver so these are at the same position but show you the moving sine wave scale wave and uh, triangle wave you can make any wave using the same method thanks for watching